This week's feature post on emerging ed tech is a continuation of the work we started last week in which we're looking into articles on the internet about how implementations of iPads in our schools have been working out. Have they been succeeding? What have we learned? What kind of lessons learned and best practices are we learning from these efforts? And what kind of assessments are happening out there to gauge how effective they are? So this week we're taking a look specifically at the work going on over at Seton Hill University with iPads. In the March-April edition of EduCause Review, there's this great article by Marianne Gawalek, Mary Spataro, and Phil Komarni, in which they provide a really rich and thorough overview of what they've been doing with iPads over at Seton Hill. So then here in my article, what I've done is really kind of sum it up and uh, lay out some of the objectives they were out to achieve, some of the things they did to get the environment and personnel prepared, and some feedback they have about how it's going so far based upon some assessments that have been done to date. So I hope you'll read the post. I hope you appreciate it. Uh, great little uh, bits of information if you're considering iPads in your school or just curious about how this has been going in education so far. As for next steps for us here on Emerging Ed Tech, um, I, last week when we put the post up, uh, teacher Sarah Getting was one of the commenters and shared with us some work she's been doing with a colleague focused on uh, at-risk readers and how iPads might help them. So I'm looking forward to some feedback from Sarah and we'll be sharing that. And in addition to that, in a couple weeks I'll be going to Campus Technology 2011 and there's quite a few uh, scheduled uh, iPad sessions happening there and I look forward to those. In fact, the writers of the article we just went over uh, are going to be doing one of the sessions there as well am I. So if anybody happens to be coming, I hope you'll come and uh, check out my presentation on using popular social networking tools in and out of the classroom. And otherwise, I hope you'll be back next week to continue this look with us at the use of iPads in education. Thank you so much.